All right, thanks, Wayne. Some powerful evidence came out in the final hours of the Dee Dee Moore murder trial today. She is accused of killing Lakeland Lotto winner Abraham Shakespeare. Well, late this evening, the prosecution focused on Moore's web of lies. Our Ryan Raish is live outside the courthouse with video recordings you're really going to want to see, right, Ryan? Yeah, Wendy, right before the state rested its case, it played a video recording of a long interrogation with Dee Dee Moore. It took place right before she was taken into custody. And during that interview, she learns that detectives have been following her, listening in on private conversations, and know a lot more than she ever thought. It's the bottom of the ninth, and you've got two strikes, Dee Dee. Okay? I watched Cedric shoot them. I was in the room. The one and only objective in this interrogation with Dee Dee Moore was to get the truth on what happened to Abraham Shakespeare. Moore started with this theory. It was a drug deal bought that went bad. And the guy's name is, uh, uh, I, I just found it out. Moore could not think of the drug dealer's name who supposedly killed Shakespeare. But with some persistence from detectives, it wasn't long before she scratched that idea and moved on to a new one. But I'm telling you, Cedric took the gun and in cold blood did not even hesitate to shoot the man. I've seen it happen. Cedric is Shakespeare's cousin, who actually reported him missing back in the fall of 2009. As she watched it all in court, tears flowed. One heated moment came when she claimed she was being framed. Look at all the stuff you did, Dee Dee. Look at all the stuff you've done. If there's ever been some kind of cover up, you did it on this case. I had to. Just when it looked like that was the end of the lies, the detective testified she had one more statement as she broke down and left the interrogation room. She said, my son RJ shot Abraham twice. Abraham was trying to choke me. RJ walked in the room, grabbed my gun, and shot him. He was only protecting me like any son would do. Now, throughout this trial, the defense claims Moore was set up to make it look like she killed Shakespeare. So here's the big question here. Will Dee Dee Moore take the stand in her own trial? Her attorneys say they are still considering it, and they will have the weekend to make up their minds. Live in Tampa, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. Ryan.